Hi ladies, today I have um, my mini page swap with um, from Bonus Blog, um, keeponscrappin.blogspot.com and she did the Halloween on Wonderland and I signed up for the um, 4x4 square page. So I just wanted sh to share it with you really quick. Um, I was signed up for the um, Halloween in Wonderland page which was a little bit challenging for me only because um, um, we were supposed to use both sides of the paper and this paper is so beautiful as you guys know and our page is only 4x4 four four, so it's really hard to get a lot of the paper in a 4x4 four four, um, page so I had to improvise and um, so I want to show you what I came up with but this paper is so pretty and I love Halloween and this is what the front side looks like and this is what the back side looks like so I don't know if you're catching on the camera it's kind of like a orangey brownish look with um, hearts on it so I'm pretty sure most of you guys have seen it so that's what the paper looks like and I'm going to show you my pages so this is what um, I came up with um, I cut the title out um, with on my Cricut using my uh, Make the Cut software. I just went ahead and typed it and stitched it all together. And then I used the um, Lindy's Stamp Gang um, Starburst Spray. I, I think this is called, oh, I don't remember what it's called, but I'll make sure I post it down at the bottom, the name of the color. Um, I think it's part of the Autumn Collection or something like that. But anyway, it's like an orangey color and it's really pretty. So after I um, cut the title out. I went ahead and sprayed it um, and let that dry. So Halloween in Wonderland. Um, I Our challenge was not only to use both sides of the paper but to use black embossing powder. So um, what I did here is I stamped a little spider um, and I embossed it and then I took uh, my clear um, jelly roll pen, I think it's called Stardust Clear or something, and I just hand drew a little web. I don't know if you could see that. Make it look like he's coming down. And then I took this um, stamp by Inka Dinka Do and I used clear embossing powder here because I um, didn't want it to be really dark, but I thought it looked really nice on the dark paper. And um, I stamped that there. And then this piece here is a die, one of the Tim Holtz dies. I think it's the hinges or something like that. Um, I had some grunge paper and I haven't used it before, so I decided um, to give it a try. And it's the grunge paper that has texture in it already. It has, this is one of the swirls. Um, so I went ahead and cut that out and um, make it a little closer. What I did was I... I want to show you really quick. I dropped the pen. Let me get it. Sorry about that. I took... I have this pen and I've had it for a very long time. It's by Versamark. It's called the Versa Marker, and it has a fine tip and a so-called so brush tip and my brush tip is kind of worn out as you can see here. Um, what I did is all the swirls... you can't really see here but the swirls I went ahead and took my pen and followed all the swirls a couple times so it would get really soaked with the Versamark and after I did that I had this embossing um, powder um, by Stamp Pendis. it's called Mer Mercosite, something like that. It's like a charcoaly black with um, kind of glitter in it and I don't know if the camera is catching that but um, I used that embossing powder for the swirls and then I took my plain black embossing powder, took the pen and went along all the the outside edges and the inside of the keyhole and I used a black embossing powder there. And then I just used two brads um, through the keyholes and then I just used glue to tack it down. Um, I I used a regular paper, uh, the, I'm sorry, ba the back side of the pattern paper here, regular paper cardstock there. And when you open it, the... sorry. When you open it, um, I let this left this blank so you can put a photo here, and I just use some more paper along the bottom, and then this actually becomes a pocket. And so I just punched a little tab there, so you can open it. And um, here's one of my tags. I uh, use the um, some I bought some Alice in Wonderland um, stamps, 
and so I stamped this curiouser and curiouser and I stamped that there and just used um, the Tim Holtz Distress ink along the edges and in the back I stamped it for um, journaling and that just slides back in there and then here um, here's my little tag that has my information and then I made some kind of like playing cards I didn't have I wanted to put hearts there but I didn't have any so I just left it blank but I um, used some more of the stamps so here's the little bunny and I used again this is the Tim Holtz I think it's spiced marmalade I left it blank just in case um, the person wants to put a picture or if they want to write and then on the other one, this one's the Mad Hatter, I used the Tim Holtz, I think it's peeled paint. I left that blank also. And then this is um, the the front side of the paper. So what I did is I kind of uh, went along on the paper and I found what pictures I could to fit in this 4x4. Four four. And so everybody's page, everybody has a different piece of the paper. Um, so, and I didn't want to cover it up because it's just so pretty so then that way they could either put a picture or leave it blank that's why I included these in case you want to use these for your pictures I use these black clips here and um, that's so they can stick their tags in here and so that's the front side and then you flip it over and our, and our other challenge was to include a pocket on the page so um, I cut out this envelope using my Sentimentals um, Cricut cartridge and I can't remember what page it's on but it's the same page that this little um, dresser is on. So I cut this little dresser at I think at about one and a quarter something like that and um, I used brads for the knobs and um, this here is a stamp that I had and um, I got it at my local scrapbooking store and I thought it went really well with the it's supposed to be a poison bottle but I thought for the Halloween in Wonderland it, you know Halloween and then when she drinks um, this stuff I thought that went really cute so what I did is I stamped it on um, shrink -ink paper and um, I used the pa palette, um, paper tray ink I think it's called uh, some kind of hybrid ink, sorry, I didn't bring it with me. Um, but you could use any kind of ink, pretty much. I've, I've used, I'll show you, I'll talk to you in a minute about this one, but um, you could use stays on, you could use dye ink, you could use pigment ink, because once you shrink it, the heat um, sets it. So I sh this is what size it came out to, and so when you open this up, I use Velcro to keep it tagged. I put some more tags inside, so here's some more images from the stamp collection. Here's the queen. I left it blank also so that way in case and here's the little um, Alice holding the flamingo I left those blank so um, they could either put a picture or write anything that you want and then that just tucks away in there and then here um, I made a little saying I'm not sure if you can see that or not but this says no time to say hello goodbye and I used uh, my white I think it's called opaque white stays on ink on this black shrink ink paper and I just stamped it and cut it out and shrank it down and it came out to um, this really cute size that I so I could embellish my paper and then I left this side um, slightly empty so that way whoever um, when they get their books all together they could bind it so that's my page. I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I hope you guys like it. I'm really excited to get the rest of my pages so I could put my book together. Um, this was really fun. Um, it was my first time participating in a page swap. So um, it was very fun and interesting at the same time, like I said, because of the fact that my page that I got um, had a lot of stuff and big for the small page that I had to do. So. Um, please leave a comment and um, subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.